Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Good afternoon. My name is Renee Burrell Gutierrez, and I'm the hearing officer for this afternoon. Um, I want to thank you all for attending. It's 4.01 p.m. And uh, this afternoon, we have uh, one item on our agenda for a public hearing. And so I will um, ask Alex to introduce that, and then um, I will ask the applicant to speak. And um, then we'll see if there's any other parties that would like to comment on this application. And then I'll go over any details with regard to uh, conditions of approval. Um, so Alex, would you please present the application? Yes, ma'am. Item 2A on the agenda is request from Bentley Legacy Group LLC for a restaurant B, beer, wine, and spirits liquor license with on-premises consumption only and patio service to be located at Old Santa Fe Inn, 201 Montezuma Avenue. Okay, thank you. Um, and who do we have to speak on this application this afternoon? I know we have three people here. Yeah, although it says Britt Anderson, uh, that's my associate. I'm Rick Blythe, uh, the president of the Fonda Hospitality Group. Okay. Good afternoon, and I'm Mariposa Padilla, Civage Council uh, to uh, the applicant. Okay. And with us is Lisa. Lisa will only speak if there's a question I don't know the answer to or Rick doesn't know the answer to, so. Okay. Um, and Rick, I'm sorry, I didn't get your last name. Could you tell me that again? I apologize. Yeah, uh, B is in boy, L-Y-T-H, Blythe. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I did have the opportunity to take a look at the application. Thank you for submitting it. Um, is there anything, uh, before we go on, um, uh, Mariposa, are you an attorney? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we don't need to swear you in, but Rick, are you an attorney? No. Um, then we'll go ahead and ask that you be sworn in, please. Okay. Okay. Um, please state your name and full address for the record. Richard D. Blythe, 14, Via Palomita, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Do you solemnly declare and affirm that the testimony you have in reference to this request shall be the truth and nothing but the truth and do so under the, per the penalties of perjury? I do. Applicant has been sworn in. Thank you, Xavier. And um, since Mariposa is under another obligation to tell the truth, we don't need to swear her in. <laughs> uh, so as I was saying, I did have the opportunity to take a look at the application. Is there anything that either of you would like to add at this time? Um, no hearing officer. I, I don't know that there's anything specific that we have to add um, other than um, obviously the old Santa Fe Inn is, is changing business model, which is great um, to not just serve breakfast, but to have a dinner, and um, is, which is why uh, the application is being sought to serve uh, liquor and beer and wine. Um, and uh, I would like to reserve any rebuttal if there's any public comment adverse to, um, to uh, the application that I would need to speak to. Um, Rick, do you have anything you'd like to add to the application or anything the hearing officer should know? Um, about the proposed use? No, that covers it all. It's um, it's uh, critical for us to be able to offer dinner to our guests, um, as well as outside uh, local clientele and other tourists uh, for the success of the business. So that's why we're seeking the license. Okay. And, and as you've seen in the application hearing, Officer Gutierrez, um, uh, we don't have any uh, distance problems. Uh, to our knowledge, we have not heard any rumblings about complaints uh, regarding the application or concerns from any of the nearby neighbors or community members. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, it did look like the application was complete, and I noted that um, uh, there was no written comments in the application itself. Um, Alex, do we have anybody uh, logged in that would like to um, speak towards this application other than who's already here? There is currently nobody in the waiting room and no written comments were received on this request. Okay. Um, uh, then I would note that um, there will be some conditions of approval placed on the application. Um, it appears that the initial um, fire, fire inspection had not been passed yet. So one of the, uh, one of the uh, conditions is that you would obtain all necessary permits and licenses and comply with all fire building and land use codes. 
The second um, condition of approval would be that the applicant comply with all city of Santa Fe ordinances. And uh, Mariposa and Rick, do you have any objection to either of those two conditions? Um, no objection, I, I don't think, just a quick question. Do we have any indication whether or not the fire inspections um, will be completed prior to the council meeting or will it be submitted for approval subject to the conditions being met? That's correct. It'll be um, submitted subject to the condition being met. It, okay. It's, you don't have to meet the condition prior to move. Sorry, my dog. You don't have to meet the condition prior to move on to the next step. Okay, perfect. Um, so um, I assume then um, the fire inspections and then ordinances. Uh, is there anything specific that you're concerned about? Because I know we have our business license, our kitchen operations license um, for food service. I think all other ordinances, to my knowledge, are being complied with at this moment. Um, was there anything that you noted we needed to correct? There's nothing specific. It's just a general requirement that we usually place on all applications. Okay, perfect. Then um, if Rick has no objection, I have no objection to the two conditions being placed on the license. Right, same. I do not either. Okay, um, very good. Then um, I will issue a written hearing officer report, which will be sent on to the governing body. And uh, my report will state that your application is approved subject to those two conditions um, with the recommendation that it be approved by the governing body. Thank you. Thank you. Any Wonderful. other questions? Um, the only other question I had is procedural uh, hearing officer Gutierrez. I don't know if you can answer or not. The last time I've been before the city was before you guys created the hearing officer process on a liquor license because my partner Chuck Piotta had been taking the lead on our matters for quite some time. Um, he's no longer with the firm. So um, when you have recommended approval for the agenda um, on the council meeting on the 25th, um, I assume there's still an opportunity for the public to comment on anything that's on the agenda or is this a consent agenda item? Um, I believe it to be a consent agenda item. Uh, Alex, okay. do you have more information on that? Yes, so it, it is a consent agenda item. So meaning that the city council can either pull it to ask questions and discuss it, or they just deny or they approve it as a whole. Okay, um, wonderful. I'm just trying to determine if 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 I should appear or if Rick should appear at that meeting, but consent agenda is helpful. So thank you. Yes, of course. Okay, um, well then um, being no further questions, we'll go ahead and conclude our public hearing for today. It's 4.09 p.m. Thank you everybody for attending. I appreciate your time and uh, your efforts in submitting the application. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you everyone for your help and uh, getting us through this process. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.